Claude Monet, the French Impressionist painter, was famous for painting series where he would paint the same object, same subject, say the Cathedra at Rouen, but he would paint it in different light, maybe in blazing sun or in fog or at dusk, and the results made the same object look very different. In music, Debussy does the same thing, but with harmony. When he writes Prelude to the Afternoon of the Fawn, the first time we hear the melody, there's no harmony at all. It's just the melody floating by itself. But each time that melody comes back, he's going to recast it in a different harmony, literally showing it in a different hue. The second time we hear it, The next time is a little brighter, a little more active. The next one starts to get a little thicker harmonically and it almost starts to sound like jazz. Right, Bill Evans, straight out of it. Um, and I don't want to turn this into a catalog, but each time it comes back, it's going to be cast in a little different light because of the harmony. Uh, two of my favorites occur after the climax, where he's trying to make things sound a little more settled. One of them sounds like this. And then maybe my favorite, just because it captures a character that Debussy was so fond of, and it's trying to capture a sense of mystery in art. He loved the poems of Edgar Allan Poe because he thought in poetry they captured this great sense of mystery. And so this harmony, to me, is the most quintessentially Debussy. don't know where you are. Finally, at the end of the piece, he kind of wraps things up with a, di a little different version of the main theme. It sounds like uh, this. Until he brings the piece finally to rest. Debussy uses harmony the way Monet uses light, constantly cap, uh, casting the main subject in different hues because what he's trying to capture is not the subject itself. It's something very elusive and very intangible. Capture that moment when it looked like this. Capture that moment when it sounded like this. And in this way, he did something that had never been done in music and in a humble little 10 piece, uh, 10 minute piece of music forever changed the course of music history. <laughs>